Welcome to this Toby Pro Lab Advanced Screen Project Demo Walkthrough. During this tour, we will explore the features in Toby Pro Lab to design and analyze a preferential looking paradigm. The preferential looking paradigm is a paradigm in which typically two visual are presented on the screen. And looking time is measured to each image to determine a preference for one stimuli over another. For example, researchers could use this paradigm to determine if children have an animate bias and prefer to look at animate things over inanimate ones. Let's see how to navigate to the downloadable sample project. Right click and choose Extract All to unzip the folder. Open the unzip project folder. The folder contains several files. A readme file. A link to the video walkthrough. The sample metrics export file. A materials folder. Which contains the Excel version of the design table and a folder of all of the images used to make the experiment. And finally the Toby project folder. To open this file, open Toby Pro Lab and select Open Existing Project and then navigate to this file to open the project. Open Toby Pro Lab and select Open Existing Project. Browse for the experiment name. Advanced Screen Project Sample Study Preferential Looking The project will open to the project overview. You can find here all the general information about the project, such as the recordings made, participants and recording variables. From the project overview window, you can open any recording or navigate to the design, record, analyze modules. The experiment design can be found in the design module on the top menu. In the design module you will see the experiment structure, the properties of the selected element, the media library, and the design table. The first element is the calibration. The calibration properties are shown in the properties window. The next element is the group element. The group is bound to a design table called preferential looking for TPL which can be found below the experiment structure. The design table for the preferential looking sample study looks like this. The first column is simply for organization. The next two columns, animate and inanimate, contains the image file names that will be presented. The last two rows are the container position. We will learn more about that later. The first element in the group is a fixation cross. The fixation cross stimulus properties is set to show for 1000 millisecond and includes a single image container with the image in it. It is set to the full width and height of the screen. And the position of the top left corner is at the coordinates of 0, 0, or the top left corner of the canvas. The next element in the group is the display. The display element is a stimulus template that includes two image containers on a gray background. The display stimulus template will display for 5 seconds. One container contains the animate images. And the other contains the inanimate images. The container properties panel displays the properties for the selected container. The source of the image files are bound to columns in the design table. Selecting the binding icon opens the list of columns from the design table. Each image container is bound to the corresponding column in the design table that contains the names of the media files to be presented. On each presentation, the image files listed in the design will be presented in their respective containers. The size of the images are set with the width and height values and percentage of screen width and height. The Y coordinate of the image position is set to the same value for each image so that each image will appear at the same height. The X coordinate of the image position is bound to the design table. Selecting the binding icon brings up a list of the column names from the design table. The X coordinate of the animate image is bound to the animate pos X column. And the inanimate image is bound to the inanimate pos X column. The uses AOI button is toggled on, so the container will be used as an AOI. The blank element is the final stimulus in the group. This element is a blank canvas with a gray background and simply serves as a transition from one trial to the next. 
This stimulus template will show for 700 milliseconds. To make a recording, select the record module. First select the Toby Pro Eye Tracker you wish to use. You can also use the computer mouse without a tracker. Second, select the presentation screen. And third, select the participant or create a new one. Press the start recording button when you are ready to start the experiment and follow the instructions. To analyze the results, select the analyze module. And open a recording. A time of interest named critical TOI has been set for this analysis. The critical TOI will include fixation data only during the presentation of the display stimulus, which presented the images. To do this, a start point was set to the event type called stimulus start, with the event value called display. The same process was repeated for the end point, called stimulus end. The analysis can be viewed in two ways. One option is to use metrics visualizations. The tags of animate and inanimate were added to the AOI in the design process, allowing the data to be viewed split by these tags. Metrics visualization is an option for analysis because a custom TOI was set and AOI tags are available. The metric viewed here is total duration of fixations. Each blue point represents the total duration of fixations to the animate AOI for each trial by each participant. Each yellow point represents the total duration of fixations to the inanimate AOI for each trial by each participant. From this, we can see that these two participants looked longer at the animate images compared to the inanimate images. The other analysis option is to export the data in the metrics export. For this analysis, the AOI based TSV export format is used. All recording are selected and only the custom TOI of critical TOI is selected. The metrics that are selected are row number, which refers to the row of the design table being used on that trial, and then total duration of fixations. To export the data into the TSV file, export is selected, and the export location is chosen. Once the data is exported, it is ready to be analyzed externally in the program of your choice. Toby Pro Lab exports metrics in a tab separated value format. You can open a metrics export file and explore it with Excel or any text editor. Once you export the metrics file, it is compatible with any generic analysis or statistical software package like R, MATLAB, Python, or SPSS. To get a better understanding of the Toby Pro Lab data export file and a glimpse of the types of analysis that can be done with Toby Pro Lab metrics, Open the Excel file called Preferential Looking Metrics, included in the sample project file, and explore it. We hope that this Toby Pro Lab demo guide was useful. Visit connect.toby.com to get access to more learning content or information about Toby products. You can also contact our customer care team for any inquiries concerning your Toby Pro Lab license. To learn more about the advanced screen project type, access the course in Toby Academy.